Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to Cap Tech. Today I want to talk to you guys about a program called Recova from Piriform. Now this is the same company that makes the very popular file cleaning, windows cleaning software, CCleaner. This is 100% free. There is a pro version you can buy, but the free version usually works for what you want it to. Now this is not a paid promotion. They don't know I'm actually making this video. This is just software that I have used many, many times and have had really good results with it. For starters, when you delete something in Windows, it's actually not gone just yet. What it does is the operating system flags that file as deleted, meaning that the file is technically still on the hard drive, it's just got a flag attached to it saying that it is deleted so it doesn't show up in the normal Windows interface. And programs like Recover can go through and search for all the files that have this particular flag and give you the opportunity to try and bring it back, as long as the file hasn't been overridden. Once a file is marked as being deleted and has the flag on there, any new files that are created or moved on the hard drive can be saved over it in the little space that it takes up on the disk. And if it hasn't been taken over yet in that spot, you have a decent chance of being able to recover it. If it has been overwritten, then sometimes the programs, any program, can have a difficult time trying to recover that because it's lost a lot of the data that's there. Now installing the program works just like it does any other ones. You download an installer, you get to choose whether or not you want to let it run, then it brings up the main installer interface and you can either just let it run by this or click on customize and change up the way it is. Me personally, I like to select to remove all the shortcuts and everything else and then go ahead and click install. And it begins the installation process and then afterwards it'll give you the opportunity to view the release notes if you want to or just to straight up run the program and takes you right into it. The main look of the program is pretty clean and easy to follow. You don't have to have a lot of background to use this. I mean, for starters, you can choose if you want to choose a specific kind of file or file contents. Uh, yeah, there's a search bar you can type in if you want to. The options has various different kind of advanced options to make it scan a little bit deeper, which takes a little bit longer. But most of the time, the default is OK to go. And you can choose which hard drive you want it to search on. And then over here in the search box, you can actually type in the specific kind of file you want it to look for, or you can just choose a specific file type and have it search for all files. Okay, for the sake of this example, I'm going to go under my gaming drive and have it search for just pictures to see what it comes up with. Now I have deep scan turned off under here just to make it scan faster so I can show you what it actually looks like. But you click on scan and it'll go through one of three different scans, uh, steps looking on the drive, analyzing how much damage there is there and then bringing up the available options. Now, once it brings up all the files that it possibly found that are flagged as deleted, you'll see some with green, yellow, and red circles next to them. The green ones mean that as far as the program can tell, everything is okay, and it has a really high likely chance of being able to recover it. Red means that it's really in bad shape, and it's probably not going to be able to be recovered. And yellow means that it can kind of go either way. Now, over on the right-hand side, you can click on the different tabs, preview, info, and header, and be able to see some really in-depth information that if you're new to computing or you don't really understand how machine code works or anything, it's kind of confusing. But then all you have to do is you just go through and select like the ones you want to try and recover and you can either click the button down here to recover them and then it'll ask you where you want to try and recover them to. And this is where one thing I can recommend that you do differently and that is to choose a different hard drive than the one you're scanning. So like I'm trying to recover files from the gaming hard drive, my G drive, so I would choose something like my C drive. You have a much higher chance and success rate of recovering files if you recover them to a different drive than the one you're on it just works a lot easier that way and you select where you want it to click OK and then it'll go through and try to recover the files. Now something else that's really nice to have here to make it a little easier for you here is under the options on the very first tab here there's an option that says run wizard and you can actually check the box to make it start at the wizard every time instead of loading into this interface and when you run it it takes you through an easy to use um, interface to be able to select what you want to so you go through and choose what you want to we'll say pictures you choose oh I'm not sure if you're not sure what drive it's on it's on a media card it's in my documents or you can specify a certain drive like I did in the last one. So go down, choose the same drive again, and then you can choose whether you want to enable deep scan or not. Remember, deep scan will make the program run for a lot longer because it's going to try and scan further down through the file systems uh, that are flagged as deleted to see if it can find more. Click on start and it'll begin the scan just the same way it did the last time and bring you back to the results page here. 
Now one drawback this program has that's similar to a lot of the file recovery programs is its inability to scan micro SD cards and SD cards, things that you would put in your phone that you're going to store pictures, photos, documents, and things like that on your mobile device. Plugging them directly into your computer, whether it's via an external adapter or straight into a slot on the computer itself, doesn't allow the program to be able to scan it just because the way the file system works. So anytime I've ever had to try and recover files from a phone or an SD card or something like that, I've always had to go to a different program besides the normal ones that I always use. But like I said, all the programs kind of work that same way that do these basic file recoveries. It's just the way they actually work. It's the way they're designed. I don't know if they'll ever implement it so that they can scan these kinds of cards. It would be very nice. It would definitely be make it a whole lot more valuable. But Recover is a program I've used for many, many years. It is one I highly recommend. I've used it to recover lots and lots of files on my own hard drives that I've either deleted on accident or deleted on purpose and then needed to get back a little bit later when I realized I still needed it. So that just about does it. If you have any questions, do drop it in the comment section below and I'll happily answer it as quick as I can. And if you found the video useful, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button below the video. And as always, in the video description below, I'll put a link to the download site for the program so you can go check it out if you want to. Again, it is free. There is a paid version if you want to get a little bit more functionality out of it, but the free version works just fine in most cases. Uh, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for your time. You guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later.